When it comes to Indian food, after each Indian meal, meetha to banta hi hai. With premium sweets on my mind, I have come down to one of the most popular sweet shops in Mumbai. I have come down to Meetha by Radisson. Welcome to Bombay Sweet Shop. I have started my premium sweets journey with Meetha by Radisson. This place specializes in traditional Indian sweets made with premium ingredients. Yahan pe luxury mithaiyan milti hain, bahut sare fusion, vegan aur bahut sari jo special hai sabse zyada hamare sweet shop ki wo hai hamari rasmalai jo bahut hi famous hai. Beet soft and juicy rasmalai aur hot gulab jamuns. You can get these sweets at any sweet shop. But the USP of Meetha lies in their high quality. So I requested the chef to take us inside the kitchen where the magic happens. Sweets were being made in large batches station wise. On one side where hot gulab jamuns were being fried, on the other the rasgullas were being rolled. The sweets are lined in deep trays once ready. After viewing all these tempting sweets, I definitely had to taste them. such amazing sweets i have right in front of me so let's dig in so i am beginning with anguri rabbi let's check it out guys this is extremely soft this is so amazing so next is the hero the hero sweet of this place which is the rasmalai and i have heard a lot about it and i just can't wait to try it oh my god this is so soft and i'm just digging the spoon into this amazing now something remarkable that i really want to show you is this rasgulla and i want to show you specifically the size of it I mean guys really I have never seen such a huge rasgulla in my life and I'm sure like one bite won't be enough Guys pure authentic taste it truly transports me back to Kolkata So this is the coco orange which has flavors of chocolate infused into the mithai This is the lavender laddu Show us dealer is this chocolate bundi laddu. So this is a date stripe of laddu coated with lots and lots of melon seeds. So this is a very very special date sweet and the chef told me that the dates are from UAE. So yes you get the premium of the ingredients at Meetha. Talking about the premium sweets in the city, how can I not visit the Bombay Sweet Shop? With its path-breaking offerings, Bombay Sweet Shop has reimagined Indian sweets like no other. Here we have our uh, seasonal gavar tart. So this idea is inspired from the traditional gavar, which is basically gavar made here, and they put rabdi on the top. What we have done at the sweet shop is. Uh, we kind of elevated it there is a gaver there is a mango rabdi since it's mango season there is freshly cut alfonso mango on top of it and there is a cream so it's basically play on a mangoes and cream that is goes here and has some beautiful uh, fresh rose on the top for garnish and this is available during till the mango season gets over and it gets served along with some fresh mango rabdi uh, you know it's the best one of my favorite things to eat now when chef kirish took us inside the kitchen we were in awe Even behind the doors sweets are made with utmost precision and creativity. Mithai chocolate bar which we call as the indi bar. We have two flavors. One is a coconut caramel and this one is a peanut uh, indi bar. You see the idea here is inspired by peanut butter cups and it's a, it has a layer of patisa and a layer of peanut praline and are coated in dark chocolate. You can even view the making if you are right on time. It was my time to taste. So here we have Chef Girish, the chief mithai wala at Bombay Sweet Shop, who is going to run us through some of the most exciting collection at Bombay Sweet Shop. So, Chef, what all do we have here? 
So uh, at the Bombay Sweet Shop, we'll uh, reimagine Indian sweets and we present it in a contemporary way, you know. So let's just dive into the mitais that we have here. So here we have a uh, kaju bonbon. Um, so this one has two layers of kaju katli and a layer of dark chocolate ganache in the middle and it's sprayed with cocoa and some gold dust. So the inspiration here for me was the European marzipan, uh, bon, you know, chocolates where the marzipan gets coated in chocolate. The Indian marzipan is kaju katli, you know. So we got inspired from there and we created this version here. So we can try this one. Wow, these slices are the traditional kaju katli. Yes. Amazing, slightly bitter taste of the chocolate. Yes. Wow. The next we have here is another one that is inspired by Mysore Pak. Um, this one is called the Kapi Pak. Um, so it's coffee flavored Mysore Pak. And then we have a some sesame toasted sesame seed for texture. When you eat Mysore Pak, it's one texture. It has a bite. So we thought we'll add some textures to this and that sweetness gets cut off this by this sesame seeds. It has a hint of salt as well. Right? Yes, yes, yes. It has some little bit of sea salt added to it as well. So that uh, balances the sweetness right. and the crunch. And also that salt kind of elevates the flavor when it comes to the sweets. sweets. Yeah, yeah, it does. And <laughs> a wonderful crunch of the sesame sweets. So now we'll come up, we had launched uh, something called a Cheat Sweets last year. Now this part of the Cheat Sweets is basically um, no refined sugar. So this one is made from coconut sugar and um, jaggery. So this is our coffee milk cake. Now this is again is covered with some sesame here. And this one is made in a tradition way. Our milk cake is been made um, and then we set it. So this has some... And I'm thing. sure since this has coconut sugar in this, yeah. uh, Subtle flavors of coconut would also kind of yes. There is some adds up to the flavor, the sweetness, you know. Wow. We have another cheat sweet here, but this one is our uh, vegan uh, power laddu. So this one is uh, completely coated with rajgira. So it's again made from coconut sugar and jaggery, and it has uh, nuts, some seeds, uh, and it's vegan. You know, it's one of our only vegan option that we I'm have sure here. This mithai being. We have seen rising more health conscious people, yes. you know, I mean, yeah. I'm sure this would be one of the most popular items for the Yeah, business. this is one of, from our, from our cheat sweet collection, this one is sells the most for us. But it's not my cheat. Yeah, no, no, no. So I'm going to head with next. Yes. So the next here we have is uh, Kheer Kadam. This one is a tradition uh, sweet from Bengal. Um, usually from the outside, they coat it with the peda powder, but we added some coconut flakes. Um, says Malai peda. Inside is a tiny rasgulla which is uh, soaked in uh, nolengur uh, so it's a jaggery infused uh... so these are two tiny spongy uh, juicy uh, rasgullas that has been soaked in nolengur um, so chef says that i should be taking a bite of it so here i go so next we'll go into um, our the most popular item the chocolate butterscotch box um, so actually waiting for this. this one. So this one is actually has a thin layer of toffee in the middle. It has covered with two dark chocolate um, and uh, almonds and sea salt. Um, the the best part comes when you actually snap. Yeah, snap it. Yeah, I get um, that nice such snap. A yeah. I can actually feel that. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. Yeah. The next one is our uh, cookies that we make. So in cookies, we are inspired by all the cookies that are present available in entire India. So there's naan katai, there's shrewberry biscuit, there is a chocolate cookie. So we just got inspired by all of that and we have created our own version at Bombay Sweet Shop. So this one is a gluten-free naan katai made from pure ghee, uh, basin, uh, rice flour. And that one is our uh, chocolate cookie. Um, that's again inspired by the butter cookies uh, that is present in this. So it's made from dark chocolate, cocoa powder, butter and sugar. Well, now we'll break the sweetness with some namkeens that we make in-house. Um, so this one is a chili cheese bujia, where we got inspired by chili cheese toast and then bujia being the quintessential uh, namkeen that people, everyone eats. So we got inspired by that and we added some fun element to it, like a chili cheese flavor. Wow, you can, I mean, you can taste it. Flavor, I mean, I've always had Adiram bujia to be very honest. Yes. But this flavor is something which is very cut above the rest. rest yeah. I'm so excited for this. Chef, such a great job. Of course. Thank you.
and here we have a peri peri potato salli so this one we got inspired by the navrat uh, sell that uh, chivra which has potato salli and it's slightly sweeter so we thought we'll just add some spice to it we added a peri peri spice um, and we make it salli uh, this is it is very spicy yeah. i am excited <laughs> to know how spicy it could this be. one yeah you should try this it's a nice uh, flavor of this this is the peri peri potato salli yeah Wow, so flavorful, so Indian, so amazing. So here we have uh, our indie bar, which is a mitai chocolate bar. Wow. Um, so this one. It so, looks so much like munch and pork. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So this one is uh, our first indie bar flavor that we had come here with. Uh, it's a coconut uh, layer with caramel pepper uh, here, and then down is a patisa layer. Where I go? Why did yes. you also try? Uh, come, let's do this. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's so getting the nice creaminess from the peanut butter. I mean, the crunchy layer of coming from the patis sabai. I can actually taste a hint of Snickers. Yeah. The Snickers. The no, this is the Reese's Pieces, uh, peanut butter cups. Right, yeah. Right, right, right. So, Chef, we have gone through all the wonderful delicious yummy offerings over here yeah. and i'm still waiting for something seasonal yes so since it's mango season right now we have come up with a mango collection so this one here is a mango jim jam um, inspired by that biscuit jim jam wow. so that's where the shape comes there and in the middle is a raspberry jam that we have put um, so outside coating is made from mango peda when we shape it like a jim jam biscuit and on the top is the jam there so you can try this one. Uh, this one is inspired by a cheesecake. So in here we have three layers. So the bottom layer is a biscuit burfi. Um, in the middle there is a cheesecake ganache which has some arm papad flakes. And the top is a mango peda. Now it's dusted along with some uh, dried up uh, mango peda also and some rose petals. Hundred percent vegetarian and no added preservatives. These premium sweet shops promise to bring back the magic of mithai that got somewhere lost in circle of donuts and churros. So these were your places for premium sweets in Mumbai. Indulge and make your life sweeter. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.